Feed Africa is one of the African Development Bank's most ambitious programs. Launched in 2015, it aims to invest $24 billion into African agriculture over a 10-year period and, vitally, to develop agricultural value chains, or AVCs. The bank's Independent Development Evaluation Department, or IDEV, assessed the relevance, effectiveness, inclusiveness and long-term sustainability of the bank's support for AVC development across nine African nations. Before looking at how IDEV evaluated the African Development Bank's $4.2 billion support program to AVC development, let's first consider what exactly is an agricultural value chain. An agricultural value chain defines the actors and activities that bring a product from the field to the dinner plate. At each stage, value is added to the product. A value chain links various independent business organizations and can involve food production, transport, processing, packaging and storage, distribution to final consumption. The purpose of this evaluation is to provide lesson experience for the implementation of the new strategy of the bank on Feed Africa. At the time of the evaluation, uh, Feed Africa was just approved, so it was not fully implemented. So for this purpose, the, our evaluation focuses mainly on lesson learning. In its evaluation, IDEV identified five fundamentals and five enablers that characterize successful agricultural value chain development. Under fundamentals, we have five elements. So. The first one is um, analyzing the full value chain. The second is uh, we have to focus on profitability throughout the value chain. The third is about uh, being responsiveness to the market. The fourth one is about inclusivity. The final one is on keeping the sustainable impact. Mm -hmm. So the five enablers for agricultural value chains these are enablers that has to be provided by the bank as well as other uh, development partner. So uh, the first one is infrastructure and ICT. The second one is on uh, access to finance. The third one is in providing the conducive policy as well as regulatory environment for value chain actor. And the, the fourth one is on uh, providing appropriate business support for the farmer particularly. The last one is on the uh, promoting private sector participation as well as collaboration among uh, value chain. The evaluation found that while most of the fundamentals and enablers of an agricultural value chain had been integrated in the AFDB's Feed Africa portfolio, others needed strengthening. Inclusivity, for example, was largely driven by pressure to attain quotas of young people and women in project interventions. Amongst the enablers for AVC development, the appraisal shows the most effective support is in relation to infrastructure and the appropriate financing where it has been supported. Sustainability is uncertain, constrained mostly by insufficient ownership and limited practical uses of the facilities delivered. One improvement was to make the value chain more relevant by incorporating its whole structure and design into the planning of any new agricultural project, especially in regard to market responsiveness and profitability. The African Development Bank's Feed Africa program is a work in progress, and some lessons have been learned through the implementation of agricultural value chains, which, as the IDEV evaluation highlighted, remain underexploited and underdeveloped in many African countries. To sum up some of those lessons, number one, Comprehensive AVCD analysis in project design and its subsequent adaptation during implementation is critical. Lesson 2. Profitability focus is essential throughout the entire value chain. Lesson 3. Effective AVCD interventions require realistic planning that takes into account appropriateness of scope and sequencing of activities. Lesson 4. Deliberate, concerted and targeted efforts at all stages of AVC design and implementation are essential to ensure inclusiveness. And lesson five, sustained benefit from AVCD interventions requires a comprehensive package of support that ensures partnerships with the private sector, the government and other development actors. Africa lags behind the rest of the world in terms of food production, crop yields and farmers' earnings. 
The evaluation proposes six overarching recommendations to strengthen the bank's approach to AVCD for the Feed Africa strategy. One, build a coherent and consistent approach to AVCD across bank operations. Two, build AVCD analytical and implementation capabilities. Three, focus AVCD interventions on adding value and achieving sustainable impact. Four, work with partners, especially the private sector, to strengthen strategic and operational approaches to AVCD. Five, take affirmative action to ensure inclusiveness. And six, strengthen policy dialogue to enhance a conducive AVCD environment.